Tonight we're going to discover why I need a front porch. It's windy. I'll push the door shut. If I unlock the front door, I'm going to just turn it just barely. I'm going to watch. And that's why <laughs> I need a porch. Here is where we're at today on this project. They have got the framing up. And that is where the extended deck is going to go, the open deck. But these people are doing an excellent job. <clears throat> they haven't got the posts on the piers on the footings yet. There's a lot of traffic noise again tonight, but I'm going to try to show you this new foundation they've got put in for this porch, sun porch replacement. And you can see now it's going to protect the door and it should come over here it's going to also cover over the window so that we can protect it from the cold it's going to be kind of cool that's where we're at so far they've got the <clears throat> piers poured but they don't have them set yet because it's been cold and it's going to take a while for it to fill to firm up all the way the plan is we're going to use the foam that was in this roof that was on the old porch to insulate the floor of the new porch these are insulated sips panels. And we should be able to just cut it out and put it where it needs to go. It's be pretty cool. Get rid of a problem. But it's still a construction site for sure. All right. Here is a little story of what we did today. Um, this is January, I think the 23rd, 2021. And we had six ton of gravel, the small gravel on top of the large gravel that was already there. It was a giant mountain. And today, Miss S and I, my helper, who is 16 years old and about five foot three, five foot two, moved basically three ton of gravel. And what we did with it is we moved it over here. And I put it underneath where the new porch is going. And what we did is, you can see that black rye in there. That is vinyl uh, chicken netting. Like like chicken wire, but it's, it's made of a vinyl material. And it is laid down flat on the ground. And then we have a geotextile fabric over the top of that. And then we put about, I don't know, an inch to two inches of gravel over top of the entire porch floor under the porch. And the reason I did that is because 
um, the old porch we had rodents crawling under there digging and at one point we had a skunk that had babies in a nest under there and I did not want anything to be able to dig under this deck this this three season room and so by the time we have this on if anything comes digging from the top they're gonna hit the mesh net netting and the fabric and if they go in from underneath they'll hit the mesh netting and the fabric so I don't think there's any way anything can dig under this from now on that's just a secure way to do this um, this these layers here's a closer up look at these layers these layers like this um, the vinyl chicken net really the only thing that degrades it is sunlight and it's sure not going to get any sunlight under there so it should be there for a long long time and then the geotextile fabric here it is specifically made to put down like driveways and stuff so it's a real heavy duty and it's woven fabric and then the gravel is a half inch gravel blend on the top of that right now we have some of these places like right here where this temporary support is it's kind of uh, heaped up on both sides of it a little bit but yet back um, the porch people are coming on Monday you see they've got the footings poured but they don't have the pier posts mounted on the footings yet and he's gonna come on Monday and do that it's been about 40 degrees or so 50 degrees at the highest and then down in the 20s this last week and so he's trying to make sure that these footers are real solid before he mounts the posts on them and right now he's got everything built and leveled on these temporary posts those will come out after the pier posts are in and then we will be leveling the gravel the rest of the way around it eventually this deck will have uh, skirting on it also all the way around so that will protect anything from blowing under there and also keeping things from creeping under there and the next step along this road is we're going to be insulating the floor so I've got to get the floor insulated yet but this is how this project is moving along slowly painfully <laughs> but it's coming so just a little update Hello, our next step along the path is going to involve this stuff. We are going to be making cleats around inside of the porch walls and putting the cleats on first. And then once we have the cleating all in, we are going to be cutting material. But this is the material we're going to be insulating the floor with. And what this is, it's called a structural panel. And it has an aluminum skin on this side and it has an aluminum skin on this side you can see the thickness of it there on both and then this is three inches of high density foam down the center and these panels are what was used to build our old three season porch This is the roof and the sidewalls, and something similar will be building our other porch out of it. But what we're going to do is, I've got like this panel here, if we can see that up close. It's not very heavy, but they're very, very structurally sound. And then you can see I've got a pile over there. And that is basically the roof and all of the knee walls from the old building, the old three season porch. And we're going to reuse those 
to insulate the floor of this new porch. And the SIPS panel as it stands, um, this panel right here has got an R value of 18 just as it stands. And it will be going in and then there will be basically a four inch dead air cavity above that. And the SIPS panel plus the dead air cavity, we'll put these in, we'll foam around the edges to seal off any leaks with, with foam. And um, the dead air space plus the SIP panel will give us a floor insulation value of R30. And the nice thing is the insulation will come for free. We'll be reusing the trash pile over there, getting rid of that, and getting insulation in the floor at the same time. So it's going to be a win-win. And then we're reusing a lot of just two by four blocks, um, cut off blocks from when they were working on this. I'll probably cut, you know, a couple, three pieces out of this, as many as I can. And then I have a bunch of these, which are composite. They're supposed to be balusters. And I actually bought a whole truckload of that kind of stuff off of Craigslist. So I'm going to be using those for underneath there for cleaning to hold the insulation up amongst other, like I said, other scrap pieces that we've got. So just giving you an update on where the porch project is coming. Good morning, everybody. Thunder Ridge Homestead here from my noisy front yard and my noisy front porch. As you can see, we are here today. We're still sitting in our construction site, and I'm going to kind of look you around a little bit so that you can see what's going on here, like I can see what's going on here. Hang on a minute. I think I got the camera switched around now. <clears throat> Is just a little bit of background for anybody who doesn't know. If you can see right there, there is a big tree stump. In June of last year, that's the neighbor's tree, and it fell on my house. And it tore up my front fascias and soffits and tore my gutters off. And it also smashed our three season porch that we have here. apologize for the traffic noise I'm trying to do it between bursts it smashed our house and tore up the soffits and the gutters and the fascias and smashed our old three season porch well today is a day we've been waiting for finally 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 they are going to come and put in our new three season porch and you can see this is what's here all these little bits and bobs that they've got set up <clears throat> I did want to mention too that um, the only reason that we're able to put a new porch on this house at all is because insurance covered all this. Um, they, we had replacement cost insurance and so um, since it smashed our old porch we get a new porch and that's a good thing. So um most of you guys if you're in america you realize we've just gotten through like two weeks of record-breaking freezing temperatures and today it's supposed to be almost 70 which is wonderful um one thing i wanted to kind of show you before they all get here is this um one of the ways that we worked it out with the company that's putting up the porch this is supposed to have an insulated porch floor and <clears throat> they built the framing, the decking that this is going to go in, the framing for the, the foundation. They built that. They put it on the house. They did everything. But then me and my helper, um, we did all the insulation panels for in, the w in between. Normally, they put a plywood decking down, and then they put uh, fiberglass bat insulation down. But since we had our old porch that we tore out and it, you know, was all smashed to bits, it has made the same type of SIP panels, which is called a structurally engineered panel, which is what these are. It's made of the same stuff that the new 
three season porch was made out of and so basically it's a sheet of aluminum and then you kind of see it kind of lifted up here there's a little sheet of aluminum and then there's high density foam in the middle and then there's another sheet of aluminum on the other side and so since we had the panels you can see how some of these panels look like they have algae and stuff on them well what that is that was the old roof and um, I just reused it to be our insulation in the floor what we're going to do the plan anyway is <clears throat> we have these panels cut to fit most of the space but you see we still have little cracks in between and we're going to get foam and actually foam any cracks that show up so that it's going to be foamed completely over this and the cracks are all going to be filled this is just the main uh, space saver so that's what we have in right now and the panel that's down here in the floor is a three inch thick piece of foam which is similar to the ones that they're now putting in the walls but they don't make a three inch foam panel for the roof anymore so now they're doing a four inch foam panel for the roof that's the roof parts there for the new one once all of the cracks are sealed with the spray foam insulation it'll then have a subfloor on top of that and it'll leave that air gap and the air gap is where they're going to run the electrical and all that kind of stuff so the electrical will all be enclosed there won't be anything for mice and and critters to chew on unlike our old porch was <laughs> and um it'll all be real good but then you'll have the subfloor on top of this screwed down obviously and between these foam panels and the air gap that's there it will be an insulated value of better than R30 in the bottom of it. So that will be really nice to have and really help the room to stay warmer. The crew is going to be here in just a little bit. I wanted to kind of show you this before they get here. Um, we have obviously a lot to do still today. They've got their materials out everywhere. I'm going to try to see if they will let me film. I Hopefully they will. And if they will, then we're going to get this show in the road and by the time the day is over with, we should have at least some structure up, which will be amazing. <laughs> so, hang in with me. See you in a little bit. Bye-bye.